Now, for some reason, everybody's bugging me to see the Taliban taxi from Appleland run, and it hasn't been running since fall last year. Reason being, some other guys made up the redneck gas can for it. Typical David's farm style. And they left it out in the rain. And the gas seeps down, I mean the water seeps down around the hoses. And as you can see, pretty sickening in there. You can see the water mixed with gas. So I'll have to drain this can out and start from scratch and I bet it's got water in the carburetor too. Let's take a peek inside. I don't even remember where the key is. We call it the Taliban taxi because it looks like one of those old Nissans they drive in Afghanistan with the wooden stake box back on it where you have a whole bunch of Taliban going to and from the beer store or to school or whatever they're going carrying machine guns. So it looks like one of the things they drive, since you don't really see these things on the road anymore in North America, that's for sure. Creepy. Redneck air conditioning. These spider webs. Well, now if I can just find a key for it, wherever the hell that was left, since I wasn't the last person who drove it. 5-speed. It did have working four-wheel drive, and it did run good. And not that many kilometers. I don't even know what year it is. Might be like a 80 or something. I don't know. It's a 84. Alright, quest for key now. Well, a trip back to the building yielded the right key. So, we're in business. I sure hope the water that was in the carb dried up. It's one of those old Nissan Z uh, 8 spark plug 4 cylinder motors. Something, something like the 2.3 liter Fords have, except that's a Ford motor. So, back to the barn for a battery. And make a new redneck gas can. Oh well. Alright, there's the old corroded fuel pump that was in there because when water mixes with gas and sits there for a long time with air exposure, you get gassed. It's like corrosive gas. It's horrible. It even eats rubber. So, I've taken this fuel sender unit out of one of those cars I scrapped last fall. That's a Ford. I put it in here, but since we're running it on a carbureted vehicle, we don't need to use the return line since I'm not going to hook up a return line to a carburetor. And I put a bypass in here. That's a T-joint with just bleeds extra fuel off because if you use a fuel injected fuel pump with a carbureted car, it has so much pressure that it pushes down the needle and floods a carburetor out. And the way you adjust how much blow off you've got is by sticking a stick in this little hole. And by the size of the stick and how much you wedge it in there is how much gas can bleed or not bleed off. All right, so, you set your redneck gas can with all the hoses the right length so your filter sock just touches the bottom or sits just above the bottom. I'll block off this return line so water and air doesn't get in there. Snap it back on and refill it up with gas and we should be all set. Drive that thing back to home bay. Well, we're back with battery and gas can. We get this sucker going. And of course fresh gas, and a primage bottle, and all that good stuff. Well, first thing is, since I'm believing that there's water in the fuel system, is I've got the fuel line unhooked. And when I get my other redneck gas system hooked up, I'm going to hook my squeezy bottle onto the fuel lines, squeeze it hard, and I like like a fuel pump, and hopefully push any water and gas all the way through the system and blow it out here so it doesn't put it into the bowl of the carb. I do like these old carbs that have the sight window on them. You can at least tell if they do have fluid in them and know if it's a possibility of starting. But for a quick start, if the motor's still good, I will give it some prime, of course, for a good time. So we'll get into some of that right now. I always can't wait for prime. So I fill up the vent, and that should fill up the bowl down there. 
and I'll give it a little shot in here. Alrighty. So move my toolage, and before I get anything hooked up, we'll just see if she fires so I know if we're ready for the next step or she's a dud. Well, I got that all purged and reattached, and unfortunately there's gas all over the motor, so let's hope nothing goes wrong when I do its first start without the fuel system hooked up, just to see if things going to run, because all I got back here in case of fire is beer and a redneck fire hose in my pants, and I certainly aren't going to waste my beer. Okay, here goes. Old start, cold start, I guess, because it was October almost a year ago, last time this thing ran. Yeah, it all works. Oh, sweet! And this is a real start. No bullshit whatsoever. And she can move, too. Cool. Except we're all treed in. Awesome. Runs like brand new. What a sweet old motor. Can't believe the carb is still good with all that crap in it all winter. Hmm. I gotta get this thing back to the building and get her all rehooked up really good. See, we're just running on residual now that I squirted in there. Oh. Well, that's the last of the residual. Alrighty. We're in business. Sweet. Alrighty, let's see if this grown in sucker lost in Apple Land will drive away. <laughs> Crunch. <laughs> yes. Sounds all clunky and bumpy, but we made her. Cool. October almost a year ago, last time this thing ran. Take a look at her. We'll have to do something about that radio. There you go. A pre hard body. Back when they used to make soft bodies. This one held all the air in the tires. It still has good tires. Cool. Fenders that act as wings at high speeds. Well tenderized bumper, so you can't notice future damage. Oh, good enough for me. And a sunroof. Wow, what an awesome vehicle. Well, let's get her back to home beer. I mean, home base. What do we got here? It's the Taliban! <laughs> the Taliban taxi lives again. I found in the back for you. <laughs> to take on the bylaw next. <laughs> <laughs> Silence! I kill you! Silence! I kill you! <laughs> Sweet! Taliban taxi! Resurrected! Resurrected again! Awesome! Oh yeah, this thing was really beat on last year. Well, the tire's low, and it's kicked out, so uh... It feels like it moves all over. Oh, it does, it does. The whole front end's done on it. Yeah, I think, uh, I think your toe end's a little off. <laughs> 
they hit something with it? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, look at it. Oh, my God. Oh, oh man, what a piece of shit. Those Taliban's must have hit a roadside IED. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They made it back though. Oh, oh, so awesome. <laughs> kill you, kill you. I get him. 